Oh, beloved, I greet you in the name that is above every name. It is freezing cold. Look, the ice is still on the ground, but here it has rained, so it's washed the ice a little bit. But you can see behind me, they've piled the ice all over there. It's still freezing cold. It's freezing cold. I would not be surprised if it, it snows again. But look, look, look. Speaking truth to you from Stratford. You know, uh, the... John 1 14 is a powerful verse. In fact, John chapter 1, John chapter 1 is the most powerful statement that holds the whole Bible together. Come to think of it, John 1 14 says that the word that created everything, and this is what baffles everybody. It 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 rocks the head of even the Islamic religion. I mean, if you look at Jehovah Witnesses. It shakes them to the core. <laughs> this morning, I was asking a Jehovah Witness. I said, listen, you people go around saying Jesus is the son of God. That's how far you can go with him. You can't push it anymore. I said, fine. That's fine. If that's what you go. But you know, do you know the purpose of which the Jewish nation kill him? They said because he makes himself God. By calling himself the son of God, he's making himself God. So they said, we'll kill you. And Jesus said, after you have killed me, and i'm risen then you will know that i'm he you know what it means what they are disputing so this issue of jesus being the son of god or god was settled over two thousand years ago how was it settled the death and the resurrection of jesus silenced everybody so in this modern world if anyone is still disputing whether jesus is the son of god or not they are late don't mind them they don't know what they are talking about but what i want to talk about is that the word the word that created everything was born human wow now look at it look at the word what the word has done since genesis chapter one look at what the word of god has done and then look at when he became flesh he was born human in the form of jesus look at what he did look at the past and look at what he has done in the past and look at what he's capable of doing and what he has told us he would do the word became the word becomes whatever needed to become do you know with god all things are possible we say that for me the word of god became my school fees <laughs> when i couldn't pay school fees the word of God became my healing when I, need, I needed healing. The word of God became restorer of someone's dead child. And this is what we are talking about this Christmas at Mana Mission. The word became. I don't know what you need the word of God to become for you. But whatever you need the word of God to become for you, it would. Because it became flesh and dwelt among us and we saw his glory as the only begotten of the father full of grace and mercy the word you mean the word that was in the beginning the word that god spoke let the dry land appear and the dry land appeared let the waters be separated from each other and it was so let the mountains surface that word became flesh and it goes everybody's mind it's too much for people to accept that the word now if you don't know me if you don't know me or you know me let's say you know me and i'm somewhere speaking let's say i'm somewhere speaking and you can't see me physically by hearing my voice you know it is ebenezer speaking i don't know why anyone would dispute that that the word of god is god my voice is me if you know my voice and i'm speaking you have no shadow of that. You say that voice is Ebenezer. And if they come to check, they will know it's me. If you want to see God, God who we cannot see because his spirit, <laughs> his word is him. And his word became flesh. The fact that he became flesh, oh, he's made our mind go, yahoo, 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 yahoo. But the word of God became flesh because of you and me. What do you need the word of God to become for you? In the coming years, concentrate on the word of God. The word of God. You know, I had some few verses in the scriptures. 
and they transformed my life and i'm holding on to more of them all we needed is the word of god in fact if i someone gave me the word of god and they gave me a prophetic message i will lean on the word of god because the word of god have been tested and tried and it means every circumstances but not all prophecy has been tried i love you speaking truth to you the word became the word became and it will become for you i love you bless you